on everybody and welcome to another episode on poke the monster and today we're going to be taking a look at one of the new boxes on the market but it's not that new but it's new to me and that is going to be the shiny tapu coco gx box so with the new shining legends coming out i wanted to get the juices flowing with the shiny granted this has nothing to do with shining legends but it's got shiny in the name right down there so i figured we can open it up with the soon to be shining legend set coming out and get those juices flowing that being said hopefully we can get this box open get some amazing pulls out of it and uh let's see what we get so let's get that intro going and let's get this box cracked open <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, shiny Tapu Coco. It's been out for a little while. I've been, unfortunately, extremely busy with my wedding preparations and buying a home and all those good, great, wonderful adult things that we have to do in life at a time. So I'm hoping I can try to start to make it up to you guys. And I really do apologize. I do see that there is still a big following and I really do seriously appreciate every single one of you for sticking around like no joke all bs aside um i uh i really do appreciate it so i definitely want to get some more videos going as soon as i can get this freaking tapu coco out of this packaging jesus come on pokemon company make it easier thank you sweet mother of pearl all right so one thing i also do want to let you guys know is till now this this channel's pretty much been like g-rated um that might be changing soon only because i feel like my filter in life is beginning to dissipate and i don't know how much more g-rated i'm going to be able to keep it so i do apologize the future videos may have a little bit of cussing here and there so just forewarning you guys but the fact is that is the Tapu Coco right there. It was super blurry for a second. So, Tapu Coco GX, awesome freaking card. I really like it. It's the same, I think it's the same moves in print. Yeah, same moves in print as the current one that's already been printed from one of the sets, which I believe is, I don't, I don't know, I don't remember if it's Sun and Moon and Guardians Rising. I don't remember. It's one of the two. It's one of those two. There is a Tapu Coco. So, I think it's Guardians Rising. Yeah, we're going to go with Guardians Rising. So, Tapu Coco, awesome little card. And then on top of that, we've clearly got the giant card to go with it. And it's uh, it's pretty cool. I'm going to add that to my giant card collection, which is actually freaking incredible and huge. It's a huge collection. Not as huge as some people may think, but it is big for me. All right, so let's get him back there. So we've got four packs out of this box, right? Let's move the camera camera angle up a little bit. There we go. So we got four packs. We got two Guardians Rising, a base set Sun and Moon, and a Steam Siege. Hopefully this box does not turn out to be a complete shit box. No pun intended. Or pun intended. Whichever one you want to take, we'll go with that. So hopefully we can get some at least okay pulls out of this box because we seem to have not had the best of luck in the previous past there's a code for you guys there you go enjoy the code let's see what this pack has entailed for us and since we haven't done this in a while we're going to go through all of it and i'm going to get to mess them all up we got an Oshwat, meryl ponita litwick joltik ninja boy coming in azumeril Greedy Dice, Ponita Reverse Holographic, and the Rare Cards, a Big Nosed Nose Pass, Probo Pass, freaking mother... All right, next on the list, I hate, I hate Probo Pass, I hate them, I really do, I don't know why, it's just so nosy, and he's got like a mustache on him, look at that, doesn't he look like, I'm not kidding, I'm not kidding, that looks like a 70 porn star right there, that's what that looks like. All right, next pack. There we go. Code for you guys. All right. I know this one's sun and moon, so it's four and two. There's the energy on the side. Clearly, we don't care about it. But we've got a Paris, Lillipup, a Bounce Sweet, Jupiter, Marini, Poliwhirl, Broiny, Timer Ball, 
a reverse holographic beware, and the rare cards, a butterfree non hollow rare. All right, we got two Guardians Rising packs. Two. Hopefully, we can get something. Come on. Come on, Pokemon Company. Don't screw me out on this. I think I bought enough of your products where I deserve to get some sort of awesome pull. So another code card for you guys. One, two, three. That's that. And those two right there. All right. So we've got a Gumi, Wishy Washy, Vanillite, Clefairy, Rock Rough, Slowbro. Took a second to say that, right? Right. Brooklyn Hill, Beware, non, uh, Beware. I, I don't know. You just pulled the reverse hollow, so I almost messed that up. A Lowland Graveler reverse holographic. And the rare cards, a mother freaking Oracorio. I hate these freaking cards. I hate them. I hate them. Out of all the rare cards, you know what? That just happened. That just happened. That's how much I hate them. Nope. Going in the trash. Going in the trash. So, last pack. Last pack magic. Come on. Baby Jesus, give me something. Give me something, please. I, I can't. Go through with another complete bust of a box. All right. There's the last code card for you guys. Like I said in the past, please put it down in the comment section below with what you guys got from the pulls from the codes that I gave you guys. All right. So we got a Machop, a Chansey, Snorunt, Panchum, Bellsprout, Choice Band, awesome little Choice Band, Tentacruel, Energy Recycler. A Glossopod Reverse Hollow Rare. Very cool. But our rare card is... A Gothitelle. Why does, why, why does this have to suck so bad? Why does this have to suck so bad? God, I don't know. This really sucks. So the only cool card we got from this whole thing is the Tapu Coco. That is it. $20 for a box, and that's the only cool card we got. So what do we have coming up next, ladies and gentlemen? Up next is going to be the Serena box in the next video. So guys, definitely stay tuned for that. If you haven't done so already, smash that subscribe button and the like button. So like button now, subscribe button in a second, and then turn on those notifications by hitting the little bell button over there on the side. That little itty bitty bell button is how you turn on notifications to let you know that I posted up a new video. Yo. So guys, let's get that all rolling. If you haven't been able to find the subscribe button, which I know it can be kind of tough sometimes, I'm going to put it right over there. Subscribe button right over there for you guys. Turn that on or hit that button and turn on notifications. And then over there is going to be a previous video for you to continue to watch and enjoy. But as always, till next time, peace out, everybody.